Hello, my most amazing artists. We are going to begin this piece today based on the works of Paul Clay, who was an artist who had some beautiful pieces. A lot of his pieces had square um, shapes in them, straight lines. He liked to use balance where things were the same on both sides. And he also liked to use rhythm. There's a video that I've probably already shown you on this. So today we are going to look at another one of his pieces that has some squares in it and straight lines, lots of color. This is actually a poem written by Paul Clay. It's called Once Emerged from the Dark of Night. And in it, he has written his piece. Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare off. He has written the piece and in each box he has a letter. The letters touch the top, the bottom, and both sides of each square. So that's what we're gonna be doing today when we create our piece. Our piece is gonna say happy holidays to you, so it's gonna be a little bit different, but it's still based on this work. If you look, let's see where's a good one. Okay, so let's look at this letter M. Actually, it looks like a V. The V touches the top, goes down to the bottom and goes back up to the corner. This is the letter E right here. Here is the letter R. And then there are some blank spaces. We're not gonna have blank spaces. We're gonna put in a simple line design in any of the blank spaces that we have. But this is the work that our work is based on. So here's my happy holidays to you. When I did this last year, cause this is when I did last year, I didn't touch both sides, like I have room on the sides of my H right here. When we do this this year though, we are going to touch each side. Same with the P's, um, let's see here, the D the same way, we're gonna touch the side. At your table, you will have a handout to show you, whoops, to show you what letters should look like inside the square. And it says, letters must touch the top, bottom, and both sides of each box. So here's one for you to look at if you need to see what the letter is going to look like if you're unsure. Okay, so here's how we're going to set up our paper. We're going to take just a regular piece of white paper. We are going to fold it in half once and we are going to fold it in half twice. So when I open it up, I have four, let me see if that's enough. I don't think it is. One, two, three, four. Nope, I gotta do it one more time. The easiest way to probably do this, fold it in half one more time. This can be tricky. Okay, so there it is one more time. So you're gonna fold it in half three times. And then you're going to fold it, I'm gonna leave it folded in, in half, see so it's still folded in half. We're gonna fold it in half one time, and then two times. So we're gonna fold it in half. <laughs> okay, you listening? You're gonna fold it in half three times when it's like this. So fold it in half once, twice, three times. Okay, and then I fold it, so I open it up to halfway. I folded it in half once, and I folded it in half twice. When you have this, you'll have your boxes for your letters. Now, each of your boxes is going to need to be outlined. Here is my super secret trick for making straight lines without a ruler. I'm gonna make a crease right there, and then I'm gonna get a black marker, and I'm gonna be super careful and I have that crease right there. So all I have to do is take my black marker. This is up a little bit. See this corner is up. So that's gonna help guide the tip of my marker. And then I'm just gonna make a straight line in that crease. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold it so I have my crease. And then I'm going to put my marker in the crease again. And one more time, I'm going to put my marker in the crease and make a straight line. Oh, 
I went off the line on that one. That's all right, no worries. And then I'm gonna go down this side. I'm gonna speed up the video while I do this. I will also have rulers for you guys to use. So if you're like, I really don't wanna do that, Mrs. Garner, I need a ruler, you'll have it. So here is my sped up part for making my lines. Okay, there are my lines. Now, this one's a little bit uneven, but I'm not gonna panic. So if yours don't come out perfectly straight, don't panic. Like I said, I'll have rulers if you want them. Once we've got it this far, we are going to put in the words, happy holidays to you. When you make your letters, your letters have to touch the top, the bottom, and both sides. So the word happy is gonna leave some blank spaces because happy is only five letters long. So H-A-P-P-Y. And then it's gonna leave three blank spaces. Totally okay. Let me show you. So I'm gonna do my H. I'm gonna use the broad edge of the marker so I have a nice thick letter. So I'm gonna do H. Oh, that one doesn't work really well. Let me get another one. I have lots of black markers, so H. Now my A, this is where you're drawing letters and not writing letters, because I now have to be careful to make my A. My P is going to touch the bottom, the whole side, top and bottom. It's gonna come around, P. and P, see I'm going over to make it nice and dark. And then my Y, I'm gonna make it come down. But I'm definitely drawing and not just writing letters right now because this is very different than how I write. So there's happy. The edges, you can make a shape that goes across, just a simple line like that, but it has to touch top, bottom, and both sides. If you wanna do a heart, you can do a heart, but it has to touch top, bottom, and both sides. I think I'm gonna put a heart over here too. You can put triangles, just basic shapes would be great. So I'm gonna speed it up as I do the holidays to you part, and then we'll talk about the color. All right, there is my happy holidays to you. And in the bottom row, there is nothing. So I put in some stars, some X's, a couple trees, and a heart. None of your shapes are going to be empty. Once you've got it this far, you are going to add in color. You are going to pick three colors, no more than three, and use those colors. Every time a letter touches the edge, it creates a new shape. So. You're gonna have your three colors, and then you're going to very carefully color in each different shape, a different color. So this part of the A is gonna be my purple color. Both of these are gonna be a different color, and that's gonna be a color too. I'm gonna go ahead and use my, the broad side of my marker, and I'm gonna do those the same, to help me fill in faster. I would look for a place on each box to do each color. Most boxes are gonna have three spaces unless you have like a, one like this where it only has two. So stop and at each one, see if you can put in that color. This is going to take us today and probably part of the next class period as well. Um, it'll look really cool when you're done. Here is mine that I did for an example before. So we're gonna fold paper. 
we're going to set up our grid, draw our letters, not write our letters, but draw our letters, and then add color.